Ooh, what's up guys? How you guys doing today? Hmm? Tinley Park Show. Another video from it. Believe it? Yeah, it's happening. Ready? Good? Go? Before we jump into it, I wanted to go over a couple quick little updates with you guys. Uh, this awesome shirt, first of all. Ooh, my buddy Chris over at the Reptile Award. He recently picked up this little baby from us. Well, he hasn't he hasn't paid for it yet, but he better. This is one of the Queen's Clutch babies. This is a little pastel clown, 100% het pied baby. We'll be showing off the entire clutch in an upcoming video here real soon, but for now there's that. Uh, Chris over at the Reptile Ward, if you guys could go check him out, he's one of our Canadian brethren. And uh, he's an awesome dude, solid guy. Uh, he offered his services as far as, um, you know, making sure that I stay safe and he's gonna go out and basically be my, my hired muscle because down beneath these uh, rock hard guns and this manly man bun, I think we all really know that I'm just a tiny, delicate little flower. A couple updates before we get into the video. Um, I wanted to fix something that I messed up, which is about the Australia show coming up. I, I gave the wrong information, which I completely 100% blamed Dave Kaufman for, but it's okay. I'm gonna fix it right now. <laughs> so the people, the folks, the group that is flying us out to Australia for that awesome trip that's coming up next year, the beginning of next year, is the Hawkesbury Herpetological Society. And the show is in Penrith in March. It's the 11th show they've put on, and it's the largest show in New South Wales. And big bonus, I mentioned to you guys, if you have a really extremely good memory, you remember I said that I really wanted to see uh, thorny devils out there in the wild, which is we have a potential ability to do just that. But just in case we don't, I heard that they're gonna have a thorny devil on display at that show, so it's gonna be a win. We're gonna see Thorny Devils coming up. Make sure you're subscribed. Quick, click the notification button. Go, go, click a pop bam. Yep. And so this this show, this video of the show, I actually couldn't believe that we got three videos, three vlogs out of the show because I spent so much time getting interviews done. But anyway, blah 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 and all that. This video is gonna be about 90% people about 10% animal, but that 10%, you might learn something about ball pythons that you never knew before. And then we're gonna do a part two, which is gonna be 90% animals and 10% people. So get this little balance of both, part one, part two. But again, don't, don't, you, this is something you might, you just come, video time, let's go. All right, so my man here, Chicago Bears Super Bowl champion here at the Freedom Bear booth the whole time. Thank you. <laughs> But we were just talking, this is your first time to a reptile show. My first time to a reptile show, and I'm very impressed to see how people are attached to... We have a couple of I told you, <laughs> did I tell you that was gonna happen? Nope, he's done now. That was the finalizing, uh, is it? Dollar bet, he gonna start again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm just kidding. Okay, right, so first over. time to a reptile show. First time to a reptile show, yes. And the things that you were just noticing about... What I noticed is how so many people in that are attached to reptiles that are used for pets, they enjoy them, they breed them. It's, it's amazing how I see how they, it's like a family situation here that how they come together and expose and, and, and show everyone different types of uh, reptiles, snakes and, and, and everything. I was amazed about it and I would be here again to see it because I've seen so many different animals, different uh, uh, colors and stuff, how they change and how they do things, it was amazing. And last night, it was just unbelievable. I, the auction was outstanding because I want to be like the MC who was up there on stage, auctioning everything off and when you see items go for the amount of money that goes for a good cause, when you see cookies go for a thousand bucks because of the passion they have to make this thing grow. And with Freedom Breedom and, and what they do for artistic kids is unbelievable. Every organization that gives back to different charities is unbelievable. So that's why I'm excited to be here. Aloha! <laughs> yep, that's what we're doing. What you guys, what you guys? Come to the front shop. <laughs> 
so I didn't get to see what actually happened, but I've made a suggestion that maybe what's what's got going on under here? Oh, uh. <laughs> oh no 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 wait hold on there we go that's better. What does it say there? Oh look he even ordained it. He ordained it himself. <laughs> it was quite the raglory yesterday morning. Yeah, I, I apologize, sure. folks. I just realized that the autofocus was turned off on my camera that whole time. But... Ricky, Ricky, please come to the front. <laughs> so we're off to a little bit of a rough start on this video, but that's okay, because that's how we do it. We just roll by the seat of our pants, and we make it happen, and we let you guys see how really disorganized it is around here, which is pretty disorganized. But that's not the point. We're having a good time, and that's really the point. We're having a good time. Especially when we got guys going over doing my uh, my bidding and making making Garrett uh, feel a certain way. <laughs> What'd you guys pick up though? What'd you guys get? Oh, we got a. Oh, let's see it. Let's see it. Oh. You can tell me about it all day, but if we show a picture of it, that's a thousand words. Yeah, you're right. And then at 24 frames a second, we're talking about tens of thousands, possibly millions, <laughs> millions of words in a matter you of want seconds. Me to open up. So what do you got here, bro? We got a banana leopard pied, high white, a little feisty. He's, yeah, he is pretty feisty. Beautiful snake, though, to be honest. Yeah, not too shabby. Oh, and then what do you got over here, Kathy? Kathy? Did I just call you Kathy? I'm sorry, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to call you Kathy. Kathy? Kathy's a general term. For, uh, That's right. For, uh, for I don't know your name. But no, for beautiful woman with short brown hair. Right, right, right. I know your name's Rachel. I, I know. You, you know that because I didn't say, wait, wait, what's your real name? I said Rachel right away, right? <laughs> That's right. That's right, you did. Now this is a pastel 100% het pied. Man, she's a proven breeder. <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> we got, you guys all kinds of stuff down here. What else get? Uh, oh, he's, he's got I got, like, yeah. going <laughs> I got like double snake bracelets. What do you call these double snake bracelets? So this is this is I mean, this is a teachable moment. For those of you guys that don't know where Python, Royal Pythons got their name, we call them ball pythons here, but Python Regius, Royal Pythons, they got that name for royalty in Africa wearing them as jewelry, and that's kind of how they got that name, so you're doing the, the uh, appropriate thing here by wearing them as jewelry. Definitely on purpose, not because I didn't know. But, but. <laughs> I, I, that's, uh, yeah, that was definitely on purpose, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> This is his first reptile, yeah, reptile show ever, and his first snake ever. Now he's got two of them in less than 24 hours. Yeah, didn't so, take long. Didn't take long. Well, thank you guys for uh, coming and checking us out, and for doing uh, the the unthinkable, which is covering up a reach out reptile shirt with a triple B shirt. That's that's the unthinkable. But he was willing to do it for entertaining uh, Dennis and I over here. We've been having a good time watching you guys do your thing. So. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> we got a whole crew of people showing up, and I have, I have, I have not slept enough this weekend, so I'm, I'm gonna rely on everybody else to provide energy for me. To, I mean, we know we can count on yeah. this guy. Yeah. Like get, get pumped. Get amped. Just okay. get, just give me like 10 seconds. It'll be all the energy I need for the entire floor. There you go. There you right. go. I'll just oh, hook you it. up. Oh no, that was it. That's all you need. All right. <laughs> all you need right there. Let's just let's record that. Right? Bradley. Oh, she's running away. But. Please don't. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna be that mean. I really want to. I'm. 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 I'm Bradley, we're, we're putting course. on camera. Bradley wants me to come out. I want to go out. We're making sure that we get it recorded here for posterity purposes. That if I don't make if it out, it goes soon, on camera. It has to happen. It has to happen. Speaking of, did you auction off your shoulder? Get tattooed? No, but we talked about how it's not <laughs> going to do that. Everybody else, it doesn't matter how much everybody else talked about how we're going to do that. We're not auctioning off the shoulder or any other part of my body at the auction until some later date, which we're not going to discuss when that date is, but it's not anytime soon, that's for sure. What is going to happen soon is we're going to bring Brian out to Louisiana, originally from Arkansas, but we're working down there right now. Uh, we've got awesome herping outside we're going to take some nature trails where we can see alligators in their realm we're going to walk right down to the beach we go down look at all the uh sea animals sea life catch crabs and everything but what we really want to do is uh i want brian to come with me to uh a certain area in the marsh to where they have it set up where you just freely walk through the swamps and it's the creole nature trail headed towards hackberry louisiana and basically what you do is you just come out and you get to be in their element. 
and you've got like a decking that keeps you six inches off of the marsh ground so that way you're not sinking up basically all it's doing is keeping you from getting bogged down but we see hatchling gators out there we see you know their mothers in their natural habitat without someone regulating it without people interfering and it's a it's a beautiful thing to be able to witness these animals and have enough trust and faith in the people that they're not going to be out there doing you know whatever nefarious acts and I really want to bring Brian over there I want to bring him to my home state of Arkansas which is you know so beautiful and there's so many different elements but uh I really appreciate what Brian does with his positivity with his message and that's what has drawn me to you know reach out to him to communicate with him the way that I have and I feel like we could do a lot of great things in different areas as far as spreading a positive message and not just about animals, but you know, family and friends and just giving back to life that gives us everything. Thank you for doing my what I asked, which was to help me put something on this video because my energy is just like going. <laughs> Thank you, Bradley, yeah. for, for everything. For sure. Bradley. Hmm. We're coming to town near you. <laughs> Pantera, yeah, Cowboys from Hell. This gentleman right here has been watching our YouTube videos since the very first YouTube video I ever put up. And that's that's one thing, but then he continued to watch as I grew into this monster of a person that uh, went from being behind the camera to in front of it, and then continued to watch past that. And not just watch, but actually engage, comment on every single video. Go Cougs! <laughs> And what is, what, what is it? Are you crazy? Terribly crazy. Oh, that explains everything. Washington State University. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Phil, by the way, I really, I love you. I don't care how many times you interrupt the video. You don't know that I'm filming. Although Dennis, Dennis had a theory that you're watching us with a camera up there and waiting for us to start shooting before you start doing that anyway. And that's why they know what, who walks off with all the stuff. Well, where is it? No, it wasn't here. <laughs> No, there was a guy that walked off with cart stuff yesterday and they announced, we have your pictures, we know what you have, now bring it back to Cups. Did they get it back? I don't know. Uh, hopefully you got <laughs> it back. They that. Anyway, so you're crazy and that's why you support yes. us so much. And Absolutely. Great. Thanks, Lance. Love supporting you. We're, one of these days we're going to get up to his home state of Washington. I'm assuming it's your home state. That's yep. where you're at now. So We're going to get up there. We'll put it on camera so that Brian doesn't like uh, ever... Hmm. <laughs> that good, huh? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. We appreciate you. And I just want you to know that. And I want the, I want the world to know how much we appreciate Lance Kirkman. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And his very supportive wife. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> what do you know, kid? Um, you gotta say I know. I know. Mojave to a blacker calico, it would make it darker and the calico would bring up the whites. We have a winner! So this is how Canadians do. They show up for a minute and they say, oh sorry we gotta go. The truth is they were here all day yesterday too but the, the shirts weren't this color so I didn't see them. <laughs> now, now they're back to, if you see what, no, you don't know what I'm talking about. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Look at this gentleman, making the international connections possible. Um, Bringing the north down to the south, because winter is coming, and it's dangerous up there. <laughs> so he came down here with his, he's got his beard protecting his face, but the rest of the sides of his head are gonna be yeah, freezing. I'm cold! <laughs> Thank you, brother. We love coming to see you, man. We appreciated him in Canada. He blew it up over there. Thank you. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> we had some stories. Good stories. I love them. Thank you. Oh God. What I want to do is I want to I want you guys to go up. I'm gonna put a link in the description for these guys' channel. First of all, um, you will find it down there. It's gonna be real easy to find because it's literally gonna be the only link down there. <laughs> and uh, be I, lonely. I want you to go watch the review of, of uh, Coors Light. No. <laughs> and it's probably it's That's maybe one of the best laughs I've had the entire weekend. <laughs> And uh, uh, you will not regret th that you went down and found it. The you single might. link, the you single might. link down below, all by itself sitting there, it's gonna be really easy to find. Just click on that, 
find it on the channel, watch it, thank me later. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fanning, to what do we owe this pleasure, sir? This is my first Tinley. T look at it, little baby first Tinley. <laughs> A lot younger than I was in my first Tinley. <laughs> Seven months, next week. He was, we only got to see him on the monitor yesterday, so I figured we better get a shot of him here at the show, <laughs> in the flesh. Mama looking proud. Woo! Woo! All right, now that we got to meet Forrest's little baby there, Mr. Lars, which we were supposed to do at the facility, but he was taking a nap. So we got to actually find him, meet him in person. And... You guys stick around for part two. It's coming out tomorrow. Or it's already up if you're watching this a day late. Mm -hmm. uh, aloha. What do you guys think V stands for? Leave a comment down below. Let us know what V stands for. Jason, any guesses? I don't know.